most of the scrutiny and debate on the movement screen is on a scoring system because we wanted to convert a movement pattern to a number to talk about it cleanly. But if we took away every bit of that, what do we got? We got people who pass a pre-participation physical that still have pain with movement. And we got people assuming that they can have a fitness solution to a medical problem. If you take away all the numbers associated with the functional movement screen and simply say people getting ready to move should move here before they move over there, what you're going to find is many of these people are actually in pain. That pain is going to either cause them to compensate, avoid a pattern, or have inappropriate motor control. And the exercise you're getting ready to dump on that pain-based pattern is probably going to be a risk factor in itself. You do more on a painful pattern, I don't know if it's going to get better or not. A lot of people have debated the numbers way more than they have the utility. What are two things that just happen with a movement screen, even though you might not have a scoring criteria? I'm identifying pain with movement before I introduce loads. That's important. And I'm setting a baseline in time. Tell you what let's do. Let's take the movement screen and turn it into a pass-fail test. Take the numbers out of it, and I want you to see what our instructors, the guys who developed this platform, see. All we're doing is scanning that piece of paper looking for zeros and ones. That's all we're doing. We're working it from the bottom, not the top. So in this instance, an optimal movement is by definition acceptable, and an acceptable movement is also acceptable, right? So let's take away the three completely. You're either really good, you're okay, or you fail. It just became a pass-fail test. Look what just happened to the scores. You're adding them up wrong. It was never made to be a total score test. Zeros and ones on each individual pod in the movement screen are what give you your direction.